Hi, my modest simmers. Today I'm finally doing a video that I've been wanting to do, I've meant to do for a long time, and that's, I think you can see it by the title, but that's an explanation of how the NROS mod, the Traveler mod, works. So I, this mod is, I mean, NROS mods in general are such game changers for me like you can adjust your game just how you like it and that's exactly what one wants you know and with the traveler mod like when i saw that mod and when i downloaded it and when i used it i was blown away blown away because let me tell you some stuff the traveler mod is a mod that allows your sims to travel to any destination you choose so any custom world you have installed in game yes any custom world you have installed in game they can travel to so how amazing is that on its own like that alone is enough reason to download this mod but there are a lot of things like you can go to that destination and you can select that as your homeward world again but you can also go to that destination with someone else and then leave that someone there go come back to your own um, world and still keep the family ties you can move worlds and keep family ties like if i have let's say if I have just taken for as an example my generations family if I had Dion to move to his parents in Zewabande permanently he would still well not because he's not related but like yeah just like I took Dion out of Zewabande from his parents and I adopted him you know he still has his family ties and uh, he will keep his relationships he will keep um, everything you know, and that's just, to me, it's just amazing. So I really love this mod for that. And today I hope I can explain to you, not in a too long of a video, <laughs> but I hope I can show you guys what this mod is about and how to use it. So here we are with uh, my, uh, whoa, <laughs> with my tutorials family. And it's just starting up, so that's why it's doing this uh with my tutorials family and um tutorial tutorialis is uh what they're called <laughs> actually uh this is my tester family this is the family that i use when i have new objects or just i want to test something out that i want to use in my game this is where i have them and they're actually in buildersville <laughs> it's a world someone built i really don't know who but I will insert the name right here I will look it up and insert the name right here if I don't forget so you guys can go and download it to Buildersville it's just an empty world so you can you know you can make buildings and then you know without the hassle of the big world and uh, all the world taking up memory and crashing your game and such uh, so yeah and that's that but uh, this is uh, let's start from the top they're actually quadruplets <laughs> so they all look alike they're sisters the this is a sierra garland sierra show me those eyes they're actually identical so there's not really much oh come on oh come on oh come on this is sierra just a little introduction um and this is saida and they all start with an s this is Saida. This is a Samara. Show us your face. You're basically identical twins, but you know, or identical quadruplets. <laughs> and this is a Senna Garland. So they're just my tester family form when I want to test stuff. I'm going to show you how to use the Traveler mod. So we're going to have... Um, Senna go to a world. So if you have the Traveler mod installed, you can, um, you can, um, you already have the option for all the custom worlds. But first, no, let, let me just, okay, go back, go back. 
Um, this is a rabbit hole rug, the city hall rug. So uh, this is basically the city, the city hall. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Enra. So I'm going to go to Traveler. And when I click on that, I get a lot of uh, options. Uh, you can look up all the options, what it means on the NROS website. And, uh, you know, it explains everything very, very well. But um, I will just go through it. Um, this is the option where you can choose whether you want your Sims in the other worlds to uh, age or not. Okay, so these are all my custom worlds. <laughs> I have a lot. I love custom worlds and I can't wait to get new ones. But you can choose whether or in what um, world you do or you don't want to age them up. But I have everything on false. I always have everything on false because I do want them to age up, basically. Uh, well, this is allow spawn weather zone. It's untrue, but you can... I don't really give much for that i don't really care about the weather stone so next you have allowable travelers that's a very interesting one because the sims game on its own does not allow you to take uh, children with you pets if you're pregnant if you're um i guess teens even i mean everything that's listed here is <laughs> they cannot travel with you so it's amazing. Well, like friends, you can call up friends and go with friends. Like it's amazing. It blows my mind that they that they actually did this. I love this. So I always put everything on true because I want, you know, I want everyone to be able to travel. So everything is on true. That's what I always have. Uh, descendants. I don't really get much of this, but you could always like. I don't. I didn't. I didn't, you can disable the descendants from you have into the future, but you know, you can look this up on their website. Uh, I'm going to show you the main things. Uh, if you want um, to, if you want to hide worlds from your, uh, uh, from the traveling thing, you know, if you want worlds to be hidden that you can choose to go to, well, I don't want that. I don't see the need to do that um and some other stuff like travel world cost per day enter the cost per day to charge when visiting a traveler world i think it speaks for itself so 200 it's okay you can put it on zero you could put it on um more so you could also uh, enter the length of a single university term maximum seven days you could uh, shorten it if you want to um Set inactives as unselectable, prompt to save. Prompt to save is always important because you want to save your game and save as, and then every time another name, so you can always fall back onto your other save files. Um, perform travel action. So this all kind of speaks for itself. Um, that were the things that I wanted to show you in here. So you basically do this like in the city hall because um, this is not the city hall, of course. But this is a city hall rug, so it does kind of um, function as one. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, um, I'm just gonna have them all, I guess. Go and travel, travel to uh, a custom world, because I just want to show you guys that you can, and that that it's amazing, basically. Okay, so I'm going to have uh, Samara go, Saida go, and Sierra go. And then this, these are the basic ones you always get to see, the three. And then here you'll have all your worlds. It's endless. Look at this. It's endless. If you have all these worlds, it's endless. Emdil. Emdil. Elmdil. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, they can go to Dubai if they want to. <laughs> I'm really picky when it comes to these kind of things so I'm just gonna choose one and that's it uh, I chose Isla Escudo <laughs> a beautiful Caribbean paradise with many different secrets to discover the island was originally populated by a mysterious indig indigenous <laughs> population but colonization played its course and the island was transformed into a dazzling port city running dry this okay so that's the <laughs> description that's not the point right now okay so we're gonna click okay and they will travel to uh, that destination um, I'll be back 
back with you when they're oh yeah you'll get this warning as if you were just traveling um they're all going there they go 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 please <laughs> And I'll be back with you when they arrive. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to say like you always want to save your game as. So you always want to have multiple saves and then take out the other ones once that save is going and you always want to have something to fall back on. That's very, very, very important. Extremely important for the traveler, especially because you know, things can go wrong and you want to fall back on your older saves. So you could basically uh, save this and then when you're there, you can save it as another name. Then when you're going back, you can save it as another one, two, three, you know, constantly changing. But just what you want. I'm not going to save for now because I don't really need to. It's not important, but I'll be back when um, they arrived. And we're arriving to our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful destination. I love it. I don't even know if I've ever played in this world. But I see that I really should. Oh, yes, I have, basically. So if there is a... Um, okay, accept, accept, accept. So if there's a base camp already in the world, they will automatically go to the base camp. But if there's not, you will be prompt to choose a house so they can stay there for the time being, for the time that they're on a vacation. So that's so amazing. Um, but this, this one happens to have a, a base camp. So that's okay too. That's amazing. Um, so... Uh, they're on the base camp in the base camp <laughs> and uh, you know you can roam around the world and see all the oh this is such a beautiful world I swear I have to it gives me these it, it gives me this uh, this vacation vibe it's amazing it's uh, this holiday vibe it's so amazing well, let's see what they are where they're, where they're going well, if we're here, if we're here, we can, <laughs> we can, we might as well just uh, look around in the world a little bit. So this is the base camp. It's quite big with a lot of rooms and such. I think they're all, you know, little houses you can stay at, little bungalows. Uh, but yeah, so this is the world. And then so um, if you want to change this world into your home world, you need to get off off of the base camp. So you need to purchase a vacation home first for in order to uh, like to have the option of a change to hometown in um, in this menu in the like the Enros. Um, traveler in order to get change to hometown in here you have to have um, a vacation home so you must not be on a base camp or somewhere else you need to have a vacation home so I want to explain to you uh, what you can do you can pause the travel so it will extend your stay and you can um, choose to not treat it as a vac vacation this will not mean that this will be your home world uh, but it just you know you can do stuff you would in your own uh, world like going to school and uh, work work and such things so uh, you can turn that to um, uh, false if you want that um so i'm gonna show you uh they have to purchase a vacation home and i hope that there's a lot available and if not i have to place one but we'll see how it goes right uh so she will purchase a vacation home first yorb yorb pomalagra uh i see there is basically none <laughs> oh here one <laughs> maybe oh that's you can purchase that lot well we'll just do that one if not you can um change any random lot to uh the law type you have to change it to owner 
so uh, I'll show you how to do that in a minute so we'll just have to choose this one and <coughs> Your household is relocating to their new vacation home. So I'll be back with you when they're on the lot. So I now have them on this little island here, which is a very cute island. Uh, but I just want to show you. Let me go to the city hall again. Uh, go to Enros Traveler. And you should get the option to change hometown. So that's the way you change hometown. So if I was to change hometown, the game would recognize this world to be the hometown of your new Sims. So say I want to um, have two of them in this town and two of them go back, like two of them will live here um, and two of them will go back to Buildersville. I can do that because I can do change hometown, yes, permanently, and then they will, like, this will be their new hometown. So now I can actually, I can call real estate again. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention that even if you are just on a vacation, you can click real estate and travel services and then travel again to a third destination or tour. And from there you can go to a fourth, but you have to uh, be kind of careful with that and save as a lot of times. So you can always, I can't stress this enough. So you can always fall back on your old copies when something goes wrong. I've warned you, like that's one of the major things that, you know, that I have learned myself to do um, and that's what I always do like even if in a normal game I always click save as so um, uh, you can actually travel from a travel destination you can travel to another one to and then from there you can go to another one so but if you can if you want to go back like if you've left someone in here and you went with just the two of them let's say you went with two of the girls you went to another destination which is not their previous hometown um, you have to kind of every time you travel and if you left two of your sims in this town, you have to go back in order in which you came so uh, in order in which you came you have to travel back I'm sorry that was <laughs> that's my tablet I'm so sorry I need to wait a second so each time you go to a destination you have to travel travel back to the previous destination you were in and that way go all the way back to let's say this world if you started out in this world so you could pick up again on the two girls that you've left behind so they can come with you again to go to uh your original hometown so um i've explained that so you can actually travel again and this time we're gonna pick just two girls to go back to the original um hometown so let her call and it's called buildersville let's see uh it should be b b nope Bridgeport. Here, Buildersville. So I can take Samara with me, for instance, and then leave these two behind here. Um, it's their original hometown. So if you really want someone to really live here, you really need to choose uh, the world to be their hometown first. So keep that in mind and save as, save as, save as, save as. I can't stress enough. I'm sorry. I know I'm annoying. But um, this will take you back to the save file that you had from Buildersville before because it's in your saves folder. There is an NHD file from Buildersville and that's why it's going to take you exactly back to the place where you were. Oh, I want to show you real quick how you can... Um Oops. <laughs> How you can uh, change the law type. So um, in this case, I already changed the hometown. So, um, but I guess you can do this when you're 
basically when it's not your hometown too uh, you can edit town and then just continue and then just make any lot I'll just select one uh, you have to change lot type to uh, ownable lot so that way you will have you know you can own this as a vac vacation home so that way you could move your sims from the base camp uh, to this lot okay let's go back I will also at the end of this I will show you how to use an NHD file that you already have like if you were playing a town before and you have a save game you can actually take that whole world with those sims that you are playing you can take it and put it in another save game and they can travel to it and then that you'll see if they travel to it you'll see your sims that you are actually playing so it's really i it just blows my mind this just blows my mind but uh yeah let's continue with this so she's going to go back to buildersville uh with her sister um and i'll be back with you when they're back in buildersville so now we're prompt here uh, where we want to live for this term. So they use the university method to uh, do this if there's no uh, base camp available. So we're going to choose this one and we're going to rent it. And then um, we actually have the... So this will be their vacation. This is how the game sees it. Uh, the other two sisters are left back in on the island i can't remember its name <laughs> sorry and uh so um let's see the travel tra travel time so now i can actually go to enros traveler and then change this to my hometown so i'll do okay and now they're back so this will be their hometown and their sisters as you can see here they are they're still related to each other and this is <laughs> this is something that's so amazing they're still related to each other and you can see here that they're still in the relationship panel so um this is amazing and this is what i wanted to show you guys um after this stay tuned because i'm going to show you how to place uh, an already saved uh, game of yours into a traveler you know that in a world that you can travel to so if you have any questions I will uh, I will first of all you have to go to the Enra site I will put the link in the down bar below and um, you can ask me any questions um, regarding to this mod and I will answer them as best as I can so first of all if you want to download the mod you go to enros industries this is the link you can just type in google enros and you'll get it um, you go to the side you can choose uh, the traveler these are amazing mods like all of them um, i will do tutorials on more of them but traveler is one of you know one of the ones that I really want to show share with you guys um, so you go down here and uh, depending on what patch level you have I think most of us have this one you just click on that and then you download it you download it and you put it in your mods folder and packages there or if you use CC magic you can put it in there so that's what I wanted to show you in here uh, then I have my saves you go to Electronic Arts, the Sims, the Sims 3, and then you go to your saves folder. So this is where all the saves are, all your save, saved games. And say I was just here. Say I want to take my Generations family, like they have a lot too, but uh, my Generations family in Brooklyn Heights, if I want if I want uh, this particular save uh, to be a, a world that I could travel to, I can basically do the NHD file. I can copy that and then I'll pu put it in my tutorials. And if I paste it, you can see it adds Brooklyn Heights. So when you go into your tutorials like the Buildersville with the girls and you choose to travel you choose Brooklyn Heights it will load up this 
save file of Brooklyn Heights. So you will see, you will basically see, for me, it's my generations family. I will travel to my generations family. So they're, they will have everything going on, their house, everything just like as you saved it exactly. And your other Sims can go and visit them. And that's just amazing. And you can do this with every uh, other save, the NHD file. So I hope this is uh, clear to you. I hope I explained it well. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask them in uh, the comments down below. You can also just um, look it up here, like uh, the, frequent, the frequently asked questions or the interactions, the list. Like they really have everything narrowed down to the T. Do you say that like that? Yes, they have everything like explained super, super well. And um, if you understand a little bit, you can really follow it very, very well. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. I love sharing good mods, good stuff with, your, with you guys for uh, making your game more fun. I know The Sims 3 can be very, very stressful um, and I will be sharing helpful mods or helpful tutorials for your Sims to uh, be a more enjoyable game uh, in the future, I hope. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.